as this, we're going to use this to configure the WordPress database. Okay, let's put this aside and let's check on the progress. Okay, so the WordPress database, I'm sorry, the WordPress program is done uploading. Okay, so the next step is that we're going to connect our WordPress application with the MySQL database. Okay, so the way you do that is go ahead and open up the WordPress folder that we dragged over and you're going to look for the file wp-config-sample.php Okay, this is the file that we're going to input the info that was just created in the MySQL database so we can connect. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to right click on it and I guess the easiest way to is to just open it with Notepad. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so this is the file opened with Notepad. Okay, here you see is where you modify with the information. Okay, so we're going to start with database name. See where it says put your database name here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up that screen that we just minimized and find the name of the database we we just created, which is this this one right here. We're going to highlight this, press copy. We're going to paste it right in here. Okay, we have the database name in. Next, we have database username which is right here, the username. So we're going to highlight this and we're going to paste it where it says username here. Okay, next it's database password. We're going to go ahead and highlight it here, copy, and we're going to paste it where it says your password here. Next, it's MySQL hostname. Okay. So we're going to find it here, hostname, highlight it. Now, when you're highlighting, make sure you don't get um like extra space, like a like a blank white space because that also counts as a character and it won't allow it to connect. Okay, we're going to press copy and we're going to replace where it says localhost with the host name okay and that's pretty much it um, in configuring this file okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and save this we're gonna click on file save and then we're gonna close it okay now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna remove the dash and the sample from the file name right by just clicking on the file and highlighting it where it says dash and sample and just clicking delete and then click enter and now the file is now called wp-config.php now what we're going to do is drag this this file into the folder we just uploaded the WordPress application into okay Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Now, this should work. Okay, so the way I like doing it is opening up a browser. Okay, let's open up a new window here. Okay, let's open up a browser, and we're going to start off by um, typing in our domain name and the folder that the WordPress was put into. Okay, so I'm going to type in my domain name here. The domain name is... Sixpage.com. 
slash. Um, I always like starting off with readme.html. So let's go ahead and type in readme.html and enter. Okay, now this is a WordPress blog. Let's click on step five where it says open wp dash admin slash install that php and that should um, locate this file on your server and by clicking this file it should go ahead and install the Word wordpress application with the uh, mysql database okay okay so that's pretty much it we've made the connection between the wordpress application and the mysql database okay so now we're configuring the tables further. Okay, it's asking you for a blog name. So put in your blog name. Put in your email address. Make sure this is a valid email address because we're going to email you the password to your new blog. Okay, but well you could go ahead and click here to make your blog search engine friendly, then click install WordPress. WordPress is installed. This is your password, so I'd make a copy of this, right? But I go ahead go ahead and change it as soon as possible. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here just for safekeeping. And your username is admin. So what I'm going to do to test out the site, at least the front page of the site, I'm going to go ahead and open up another page and just go straight to the main page. And it should give me the, the WordPress welcome page right here. This is your WordPress blog. This is the default template. Um, please see my other video on how to um, locate interesting templates and upload them. So to, to be able to update the site, we have to log into the back end of the site. Okay, so that could be done by typing after your domain name, typing in wp-login dot php and hit enter again your username is admin and don't forget the password you just copied okay I'm just gonna put it for it to remember me click login great okay so we're in this is your WordPress blog. From here you can control the whole site, the way it looks. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go to dollardemo.net slash donate and donate a buck. Thank you. Have a nice day.